Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial. I have asked you guys on Instagram what you guys wanted to see and you guys said multiple things, so thank you so much. Today, I'm gonna go with a makeup look using the James Charles palette. My next color series on my Instagram was going to be blue and it's from your guys' suggestions. So I'm gonna do more like of a icy blue type thing and I thought that'd be really fun since I, I don't think I played around with like icy blue colors. So I'm gonna be doing that and I'm gonna do a little spin on it, not just completely blue. I'm gonna do a look that you can easily wear out if you like change a couple things because I like doing more wearable looks on my channel and then I have fun on my Instagram, just like fun looks that not everyone's gonna wear on, on a day to day. But on here I wanted to do something that everyone can wear. Let's get right into this video. I already have my brows on and I have only primer on my face. I'm using the Fenty uh, Matte Primer. And I'm going to set my lids with concealer. I want a blank canvas on my face. So I'm going to go um, with my Catrice Camouflage Concealer. Apply this on the lid. I sometimes do this, I sometimes don't. Um, if it's going to be such a light look, I really want my lid to be one shade. And you don't see like my red veins underneath but like on a day to day I do not conceal my whole entire eyelid I literally just do whatever is like on my sponge then I'm gonna go in with the James Charles palette and use the white shade right here I'm going to set the lid with it now I'm gonna zoom you guys in a little bit more so you guys can see my eyeshadow so I'm first going to go in with this shade right here I'm going to put that as my transition shade and I'm going to blend that pretty high up I love this color probably one of my favorite transition shades so since I have a lot of lid space up here I'm going to bring that all the way up pretty high up on that brow bone and I'm using a Jaclyn Hill times Morphe JH30 this is like the softest blending brush I have at the moment. So I also want to bring it pretty high up on this eye socket area. Next, I'm going to go in with a skinnier blending brush. This is a Morphe Y19. And with this shade, I'm going to go in with a mixture of that transition shade as well as this deep brown right here. I'm going to go very light handed, but I'm going to try to map out where I want my like crease to be since I have such a small lid. I tend to put it higher up, so I'm going to make a fake crease. So just on the tip. Very low, so light. Then I'll go in with the same blending brush that I used in the beginning and just blend that out so it's seamless. So now that I kind of made this deeper, I'm going to go in and map out where I want my cut crease to be and I've been using this precision concealer from Catrice it's like the same color as my other one but the brush is so thin so what I like to do is map it out with this and what I do is kind of place it right here and then I close my eye and I look up and then it'll go higher like it did there and then that's where I know where to map out because I'm going to make a faux crease above my real one but high enough so you can see it when I open my eyes. So then I'll just go down. And then I'll go to here. Go with the same brush as before and blend that out. And I also blend the edges out of this concealer so it will go a little bit further out but I don't want it to be a harsh line. I'm just going to go in with a flat shader brush and I'm going to go in with this color right here. This beautiful blue. Pack it on the brush and just place it right there. I'm going to go back in with the first shade I used right here and a little bit of the brown shade that I used to kind of map out 
And I'm going to pack that on right on the outer corner. Just blend those edges little by little. I'm not done blending yet, but I'm going to go in with this shade right here. And I'm going to put that in between the light blue and the brown. Just so it gives it some dimension that like the lighter blue is going into the deeper blue then to the brown. And I'm going to go back in with that light blue and go right on top of those edges. And then I'm just going to go back and forth with both colors just so they blend more. And then I'm going to go back to the brown shade and blend that and pack it on a little bit more. on this edge. I'm going to go higher up because I'm going to do a wing so I want it to be cut right here. Then with a very little detailed brush I'm going to go back in with that brown and I'm going to kind of go on top of that crease and I'm going to just like outline it very lightly. I'm going to get a little bigger blending brush and just blend it out. Next, I'm going to go with some glitter liner. This is the AOA Studio Starlit Liquid Liner. And I'm going to go on top of where I outlined and just bring it halfway up. This is where I don't want to breathe. <laughs> So now I'm going to go in with liner. This is my Makeup Revolution favorite liner at the moment. Now that the liner is done, I'm going to go in with these lashes. These are from eBay actually and I found them because I follow this girl called Fluke Makeup. I think that's her name. She said these are her favorites so I bought some on eBay and they're so freaking cheap and they are actually pretty nice. So I bought like so many pairs of these and I love them. I'll try to find the link and link them down below. So I'm going to put those on and I'm going to put on some mascara, my falsies. Mascara from Maybelline. I'm also going to put on my Marc Jacobs liner. This is for underneath my lash line up here. Just so you don't see that like flush color from underneath. I'm going to go off camera real quick, do my face. It's literally the same thing I always do, so it's not going to be anything different. And I'll come back and finish my lower lash line. So now that my face is on, I'm going to go back in with that transition shade, the first one, the really light color. I'm going to smoke out my lower lash line with that, just a tiny bit. And then I'm going to go in with that icy blue color right there. So then with the icy blue, I'm going to... Smudge that on the lower lash line as well. Then back in with that other brush, blend out those edges. I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Lasting Drama Waterproof Gel Pencil. Blend that all in there. Then I'm gonna go in with that inner corner. I'm gonna use my Sleek Highlighting Palette. This is Soltis, I think it's called. I'm gonna go in with this shade right here and I'm gonna just go ham in that inner corner. 
I really want it to be right. I'm also going to put some of that highlight on my cheekbones. I haven't done that yet. Just so it's the same color, not like a gold. It's going to be icy. Icy highlight today. So I'm gonna go in with LA Girls Lip Pencil in Cafe. I'm gonna line my lips. Then I'm gonna use Maybelline's Super Stay Matte Ink in Loyalist. And then I'm gonna go in with Becca's Liquid Crystal Lip Topper in Opal. I'm gonna put that on the, just a tiny bit on the center right there. That is it. I love how this makeup came out, oh my gosh. So that completes this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know I haven't done a makeup tutorial in quite a bit and this one is like, whoa, I think. But it's so wearable. Even if you don't do the like line of highlight right there, you can definitely do these colors and be like different for a night. I think it would look so pretty. So what do you guys think? Let me know if you guys want to see more dramatic looks like this from me and more color. If you guys want to tell me another color I should go experiment with, please let me know down below. I'd love to do it. I have gotten into a rhythm of playing with color now because of you guys and you guys have definitely been helping me out. So thank you, thank you so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget, to see other colorful looks like this, go on to my Instagram and I post a lot more on there of um, different makeup looks. So go and check it out. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.